So how to open the document? How to insert a table? So now I will explain about the title bar. So this is your file extension in Word document. How do we convert the data to be bold using formatting? And footer is a bottom margin of every page or else control plus n also you can use in keyboard shortcut method. Welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram College, Mysore. In my last session, I have discussed about word processing basics. So how to open the document, how to insert a table, how to change the font size, font color and how to increase the font size and how to open an existing document I have showed with demo I have explained. So today I am continuing with the topic. So now I will explain about the title bar. So what is this title bar? What does the title bar contain? Title bar contains the name of the file or application. In which name you are saving your file or application that will go to the title bar. So this is your title bar. Example, if you save your file name as student1, dot doc x it will go to the title bar and what is menu menu this bar displays the headings of each drop down menu this menu bar displays the headings of each drop down menu called layout references mailings review view and help insert home so in all the menus, commands are grouped under each of this menu headings. Next, what is extension of the word processor file? That is dot doc, file name dot doc or file name dot doc x, document x. So this is your file extension in word document. How do we convert data to be bold? using formatting toolbar. Very important question. Already I have discussed about formatting toolbar. In formatting toolbar, so you can change your text as bold, italic, underline and you can change the font size, you can change the font colors, you can highlight the text, etc. So first question is, how do we convert the data to be bold using formatting toolbar? Steps. Select the relevant portion of the text. First, you need to select the text and click the bold button on the formatting toolbar. Very simple, right? So first, you need to select the relevant text and you just click Ctrl plus B or you can go to the formatting toolbar option. So here we have two options to convert data to be bold using formatting toolbar. First one we have control plus B or else you can go to the formatting toolbar option. So you can click B. Clear? And next. Which are the standard alignments used in word processor? So already I have explained about the alignments. So we have align text left center, align text right and justify. So what are the keyboard shortcut method for align text left, right and justify? So alt plus left means L and alt plus E for center and alt plus right for text right and Alt plus J for justify. Keep in mind, if you don't have mouse, you can use this keyboard shortcut method for alignment of text. So align text left, Alt plus L. Align text right, Alt plus R. For center, Alt plus E. And for justify, Alt plus J. So these are the standard alignments used in word processing. And next we have, what is a header? So what is this header? Header is a text added to the top margin of every page such as document title. Assume that here you have 10 pages of paragraphs. 
So you need to add the heading of this paragraph. Example, here you can put the editor names or page number and or else chapter name or page number etc. So for that we can select this header and footer option. If you click on this header, so it will come like this header section 2 and same as previous. So here you can edit any text. I will show you with demo and next we have footer. What is a footer? Very important question for 3 mark. What is a header and footer? Footer is a text added to the bottom margin of every page. So header means top margin of every page, top margin of every page and footer is a bottom margin of every page. You can put the page number and editor names etc. So this is called as header and footer. So I will show you with an example and next we have how to insert page number. On the insert button, if you want to insert page number, you just click on insert button, click the page number icon and then click page number. First you need to select insert. If you click on the insert button, you will get this commands. Then after that you just select the page number. So again, we will get the options called top of page, bottom of page, page margin, current position, format page numbers and remove page numbers. You just select which one you want to insert. You just select, if you want, you can select the top of page or bottom of page. You just click on that, you can put the page number into a document. So this is called as insert page number. So first you need to select the insert button, then page number you can put anywhere. So this is about inserting page number and the next important question is give the steps for opening a new file in word processor very important question for three marks how to open a new document in word processor what are the steps you need to write the steps properly to open a new document follow one of the following methods so which are the steps we have to follow click the office button and Click the new option and then select blank document. Already I have explained this in my previous session. First you need to select the MS Word. Then go to the new option and then select blank document and press Ctrl N keys on the keyboard or else you can go to the file commands. So in file you will get so many commands you can click on new button or else Ctrl plus N also you can use in keyboard shortcut method. These are the steps for creating a new document. Three marks question. Steps to create a new document. And next question is, write the difference between save and save as. Very important question for three mark. Very important question for three mark. I hope you know about the save a document and save the existing document, right? The save option allows us to save a new file to save a file under the same name. If you want to save a new document, you just click on the file button and go to the commands called save. You can save your document in any name, right? So if you want to save an existing document, you can go for save as command. The save as option allows us to save the existing file under a different name. Assume you already have saved your document. Again, you need to rename your document. You can go for save as command. And next question we have, give the steps for opening an existing document. So if you want to open an existing document, what are the steps you need to follow? First step, click the office button, select the open option. First you select the open option. You will get so many recently used files. You click on the particular file name and open dialog box will be displayed. Select the drive that contains the document, the list of folders and files are displayed. So if you select the open command, you will get some recently used files. In that list of files, select the document name. Which name you are going to open, you just click on the file name and click on open button, then selected document will be open. So these are the steps to open an existing document. I will show this with an example. So these are the steps 
to open an existing document. And next we have explain any two options of the formatting toolbar in detail. Three marks question. For formatting the text and documents, we have so many options called bold, italic, underline, change the font size, font style, font color and alignment etc. So formatting means changing the style and design of text and objects in the document in a proper way and this can be achieved using formatting toolbar. If you want to change the style and size of the document so you can go for formatting toolbar and next is font face so if you want to change the font face you can use this step select the text and select font on the font group you will get so many commands you just select on font and click the drop down on the font face you just click the drop down button on the font face and select the required font face name Please try this once, you will get to know about the word document in detail. And next we have font size. Font size means we are changing the size of the font. So here also we are going to format the document or text. Select the relevant text and select font size on the font clipboard. First you need to select the font size and click the drop down on the font size. On the list select font size and click it. Already I have explained this, right? So these are the steps for change the font size. Next, how do we perform the undo operation? So how do we perform the undo operation? Important question. So undo, undo features will keep a list of 100 actions that you have performed and it allows for taking one step backward in order to erase what you have just done. So it helps to go one step backward in order to erase what I have just done. So if you want to get back this perform word, you just click on control plus Z. Control plus Z. If you click on this control plus Z, you will get the word back. So click on the undo button to go back one step. Clear? So this is called as undo operation. For undo operation, control plus Z is a keyboard shortcut method. So next we have give the commands for copy and paste. Very simple concept. For copying the text, control plus C. And for paste, control plus V. So this is the command for copy and paste. Control plus C and control plus V. Next we have how to select the complete text. If you want to select the entire document, so what you can do is choose select option followed by select all in menu bar or press control A. Control plus A means you are selecting the entire all document. So these are the steps for selecting the complete text. And next we have what are the tables in word processors? What are the tables in word processor? A table is used to display data as rows and columns. If you want to insert a rows and columns, you can go for table option, insert and you can select the table option. The different methods are inserting a table and drawing a table. So table means it's in the form of rows and columns. Choose a blank document. So this is your word page layout. So now I will select the file menu. So in file menu, you have so many commands called new, open, info, save, save as, print, share, export, transform, close and account and more. If you want to close your document, you can choose this close command or else you can go for this also. And if you want to minimize, you can go for this minus. If you want to minimize your document, you can select this option. So now I will explain how to open a new document. If you want to select a new document, you just click on the new button and select which document you want. Blank document or template document. You can choose anything. And if you want to open an existing document, so here I will open the recent document called online class. So here we have some paragraph. Using this, I will explain how to format the document and how to insert header and footer and how to insert the table. 
so here i will show you how to copy and paste i will copy this line control plus c i mean i will paste it in a last line control plus b clear and if you want to select this entire paragraph i will select control plus all control plus a so all the text are selected and if you want to copy it and paste it in the next page you can use control plus c and control plus b so here i will change this font size if you want to increase the font size you can select this and you can increase the font size and here i will change the font color i have changed this and if you want to bold this you can go for b if you want to underline you can go for u if you want to make it as italian you can just select i so now i will show you how to insert header and footer first go to this insert button if you want to insert table pictures shapes and icons charts and all you can go for this insert button so now i will add this header if you want to add page number you just click on this page number and select top of page or bottom of page or page margins and current position format page number or remove page number clear if you want to select header to your page i will select this first option so here you can type anything called chapter name editor 1 i will give editor 1 and if you want to add any chapters names you can change so here you have footer also this is called as header and footer for creating the notes and articles and assignments you can use this option so if you don't want this header and footer you can close header and footer or else if you want the size of this header and footer you can change the size and also you can insert online pictures to your document and pictures also you can insert and if you want to add date and time so i will add this date and time so if you want to add date and time document information you can add to your document and page number you can add the page number also here page number is added so if you want to change you can change it as 2 3 4 anything so this is your word page if you want to create a new document if you want to open an existing document if you want to save an existing document you can use many other options so if you want to add an image tables shapes and all you can easily prepare in word document or else you can prepare invitations you can prepare articles newsletters many more so here we have so many tabs for selecting for creating for designing the document so this is about your word processing with this we have end of this chapter called word processing in my next session i will come with a new chapter called spreadsheet thank you